Scorpio, welcome to your mid-July to end of July reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Always take what resonates and then head over to your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign readings to get additional clarity. And for those of you that are new, go ahead and like the video, um, leave a message on how it resonates. I pull in energy before every reading as I meditate. Um, and I'll bring more personal messages to you in future readings. You'll know that they're meant for you because it's going with what your situation is. The link to my Etsy shop is down below of every video. So just click on that. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. See the variety of readings that I offer. And they're very inexpensive. I don't charge a lot to provide guidance or clarity. A deep breath. If you meditate, Spirit's saying connect. It is what it is. I'm already feeling like a decrease in energy. There's something that could have ended with the door closed and it is what it is. Exposed and revealed. I feel like it's caused you to do some soul searching. Maybe some shadow work. Becoming better, very vulnerable and coming like to touch base with your weaknesses as well as your strengths. But I feel like it's been a test for you. All right, what else for my Scorpios? Frightened. I bravely face all obstacles. Scorpio, what's going on? Font popped out, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes with the reading. <clears throat> okay. Your current energy in your past and the future, the current the situation that this is regarding, and the overall outcome. And at the bottom of the duck deck is the bottom of the duck. Maybe one of you own a duck. The bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. Younger water sign, Pisces, Cancer, and you know your fellow self. Maybe extending an apology, um, asking someone out on a date, reconnecting with a friend. See, it's almost like when pigs fly, it's like you might have thought you would never reconnect with this person, then lo and behold, you do. Four of Cups. So I don't know if you're trusting the ener the offer that's coming in. I feel like you're bored with life. You, you know, you've probably put your effort into a few situations and it didn't work for you. And now this, this is coming back around, this energy, this, I shouldn't say back around. This offer that's coming in, mm, I don't feel like you're completely open towards it. It's like you're in that energy of feeling stuck, of feeling stagnant. The past energy, the lovers. So you might have felt this connection with someone. Soulmate, twin flame connection, this deep connection with someone. They could have an arm tattoo. They could have dreadlocks. And maybe that, you know, it, it fizzled out or it didn't, you know, you were in separation and now you're just like, blah. And it's almost like she's even facing this connection, like thinking, why? But in the near future, the sun is shining. So it could be a fire sign. Or they could have fire in their chart. But it's like. I feel like either you heal and move on or you accept this offer and realize like the 
how drastically the energy is different. You might feel a connection with someone that you've never felt before. Definitely could be a fire sign. Could they could be an Aries Leo fire sign. But it's like, you know, the situation is you coming to terms with what happened. Soul searching and getting that healing energy in you. Becoming more grounded. Truly seeing the, the reason that other things didn't work on your part, what you contributed. And just being exposed to yourself, seeing like healing your set, your, your, um, your child self, listening to your higher self and soul searching and seeing what you truly have brought to these connections so that you could become more grounded. And so you could close out those cycles that didn't work. The things that you brought to the table that didn't work. And your desires are coming true. Your wishes are coming true. All right, I just want to make sure my my um camera likes to screw up me every once in a while, especially in full moon energy. It's like, oh, you, you're 15 minutes into a reading? Ah, I'm going to shut off. You just keep talking for another 15 minutes. All right, we're going to say... Please clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. The current situation. Thank you. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been through it. You're like the Wounded Warrior. It's just like you... You just think of like why things didn't work out with these people that you might have had connections with. These empty cups that are here. You're not willing to give up. You're not ready to give up. It's like you're standing tall, but you're waiting it for it to come towards you now. You've put band-aids, you're standing there, and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm standing, okay? I'm not ready to give up. But how do I know I can trust it? I feel like you're in your head about the things that haven't worked. It's like weighing on your shoulders. Please clarify the lovers. Yeah, there's somebody you definitely had a connection with. And it was fated. It was meant to be on your path. But also, it, the wheel's turning back around. The wheel's turning in your favor on this. Why is the emperor here for the current situation? Oh, two came out. The star... Yeah, and the the um, ten of wands. See, you're you're triumphing over what's weighing on your shoulder. You're triumphing over the burdens. You've taken control back. You might have fire in your chart. You've taken control back. You got that even flow of energy in your in you within you, and you allowed yourself to heal. Put the burdens down and become more positive. It's almost like a rejuvenation within yourself. Why is the sun here for future energy? The Hierophant, or I'm sorry, the High Priestess. It's the all-knowing. Why is the sun here with the High Priestess? Okay. The Empress and the healing, yeah, it's taking control back of your life. You could have been dealing with an air sign, but it's taking control back of your life. This person, I truly feel, is like a soulmate connection. They're coming back around. 
the Empress and the Emperor in the same reading is a divine connection. There is healing that had to take place, balance that had to be brought to this connection, lessons to be learned, but you both have the power to make this as beautiful as you want it to be. All right, please clarify the magician as the overall outcome. Look at that, the stability, the going the distance, making it long term. This person could be traveling towards you or you could be traveling towards them. But it's the coming together, it's leaving the rough waters, overcoming the burdens and coming to a more peaceful state. If you guys are in separation, um, you could be connecting in your dreams. Yeah, there's going to be rapid communication, rapid movement. Yeah, exactly, rapid. The Knight of Swords. All right, the Four of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Can I have one more card clarifying the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands? Yeah, see? Exactly. You're not ready to give up. The sun is here twice. There is the expression of emotions. The fire sign might be reaching out to you, Scorpio. You might not expect it. Look how the fire sign is facing the back of the King of Cups. Obviously, Scorpio, this is you. Um, I really do believe it could be a fire sign. And it's like they're reaching out to you. See, legs are open. Reaching out to you, you might really not expect it coming. You might have think, thought they moved on, but they want to come in with a, um, they want to come in with an apology, an offer. Remember, when pigs fly, how are you helping Scorpio during this? All right, this is how they're helping you. They're helping you stand back up, heal, and be ready for it. And it's almost like, look at her looking down like, spirit, all right, I'm up. Universe, I'm up. I look a little disheveled. You're going to have to give me a new shirt. This one's ripped. But I'm good. Spirit is helping you stand back up and see the light in this. There is always a positive to something. It had to be that you, the two of you needed to, you know, embrace the ending. See what you brought to it that didn't work and what your person brought to it that didn't work so that you could be in this better energy the next time around and it's divinely guided the emperor the empress the lovers the sun card times two the ten of cups the ten of pentacles scorpio i mean seriously so just take that deep breath clear your mind and meditate allow the healing to happen because it is what it is. Spirit saying the universe, it wasn't right. You got to fix it. And then it's it's going to be your time. All right. Love and light, guys. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Oh, you know what? One more card for advice. I forgot to pull it. My unicorn, my magical unicorn deck. Creative Solutions 13. Think outside the box. View things from a higher perspective. Think outside the box and view it from a different perspective. And then that's when the door reopens. The stars are still waiting. The hope is still there. And then the connection is going to happen. All right, guys. Have a great weekend.